I grew up around people drawing, sewing, building, gardening, and stuff like that. I admired crafts and trades. It's cool when people create and design things by hand. Not just by hand, they put skills into it, attitude, sometimes even pride or love. In a way, they go beyond just doing something and tap into the art territory. So years ago, when I stepped onto the IT path, I expected software engineers to be like craftsmen. I expect myself to be a craftsman, like a watchmaker or a woodworker, for instance. But recently, I realized that I'm in the world of fast fashion. Sure, I understand we're a few industrial revolutions away from the original crafts. We're in a startup world with a low germination rate. We must be fast or someone else will eat our part of the cake. I also understand that modern watches and wooden furniture are rarely made by hand. Most apartments I've been to in Berlin look like the IKEA catalogs. But I've seen beautifully crafted furniture and watches. My question is, where is the beautifully crafted code? I'm guilty of this myself. Just look at the recent Gleam video. On multiple occasions, I leave shitty code and promise to fix it later. And I wasn't always like this. I used to be a better engineer just a couple of years ago. These days, I am a better engineer, but only for the business. I deliver faster and know what to focus on as far as the business concerned. But what happened? Why don't I focus on the craft anymore? And it's not just me. I noticed this in others more and more. To some extent, it's industry's fault, but some of it is our own. Take, for instance, memes about rewriting stuff to Rust. Those are funny. But it's not funny that we normalized rewrites for no major reason. A watchmaker can service a pocket watch from 1887. A woodworker can service a mid-century modern chair. Both are likely to enjoy the process and the result will last for years. There is admiration for well-made older stuff or vintage. And what do we do in our industry? We label code legacy the moment it leaves our local machines. What else do we do? We make quick prototypes that are never planned well, but always end up in production anyways, stay there for years and until we rewrite it. Of course, it rarely goes well and we never learn from our mistakes. One might say, but what if the language we picked for prototyping five years ago doesn't scale anymore? Is it? Is it the language's fault? Maybe it's a couple of small design decisions fault and that's it. Or maybe a whole architecture's fault. Or maybe by Conway's law, your entire organization is to blame. Sure, there are right tools for the job. For some jobs, for example, to cut some simple double. One can use a handsaw or a circular saw. It doesn't matter much. For some jobs, for example, to make a short straight cut, a skilled worker can do a better job with a handsaw than a junior with a jigsaw. And for some jobs, for example, to make a long straight cut, using a handsaw is a stupid or even impossible idea. So in other words, why are we wasting time brawling and arguing with Go, Java, Haskell, whatever experts who pick their language of choice to do another web service? And when will we stop pretending there is no difference between writing a script to use once and a maintainable code for years to come? If history books are true, uh, apprenticeships with a master used to be a common practice. These days, it's more of a luxury or exception. So some artisans defer to master studies. For example, when you want to improve drawing or painting skills, you can study Michelangelo's drawings, Kolesnikov's use of color, Cornwell's composition, and so on. First, I don't think boot camps or senior teaching juniors come anywhere close to studying with a master. The main goal of this is not to hone in software engineering skills. It's to get newbies to contribute uh, good enough code as soon as possible. Also, every time I onboarded someone or was onboarded by someone else, the senior person had to do a walk of shame either around architecture decisions, developer experience or code practices. I'm pretty sure I've never seen a code base somebody was proud of. But in good news, we have open source, right? It's not easy to navigate and distinguish good from bad, but there are still some enthusiastic people who share good code and some are even happy to tutor others. So recently, a year or two ago, I learned about the architecture of open source applications, which is pretty good. So overall, this area is quite hopeful. It takes time, sometimes a lifetime to become great at anything. It's an obvious fact to anyone who ever tried to learn or even perfect anything. And I don't care right now about overpaid or over self-confident juniors and middles asking for raises and stuff like that. Uh, what worries me is that we promote the best, most valuable engineers out of their craft. Instead of using their hard learned skills and allowing them to do engineering, they waste time sitting in meetings, writing documents nobody reads, 
or running around trying to persuade other teams that are already overloaded with their own stuff to do more things and more improvements instead of actually working on things and improvements. At this point, I was going to bring it back to functional programming, but whatever I wanted to say, I already did in the videos on values and on labels. So let's just wrap it up. You can say that it's a bit unfair because our industry is still young and immature, while people have been building furniture for thousands of years and watches for centuries, hundreds of years. But we are in the LLM age now. Regardless of what you think of LLMs and if you think they're going to replace all, some or none of our jobs, they're here and they are part of the industry. So how much more new codes and values can we even contribute? In, in this month, year or maybe two to come, will we fly high into the craft of engineering or dive deeper into the fast fashion industry? And if all of this sounds unfamiliar, and makes no sense. I think you're just lucky one in the minority. If you're part of the community or a company of craft engineers, please share your story. I, I've heard of so far you can laugh and a few other exciting things, but I think I would love to learn more. I think it's important to share these things in general. And this question is not for YouTube engagement or anything like that. Just you don't have to share it with me. Just share it with the world and or you can DM me and share anywhere else.